Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Hawk, and today we're going to be fighting the Moonlight Butterfly in Dark Souls. Try and not wake these guys because you don't really get much from them and they're just a huge annoyance. I'm gonna waste the Estus Flask. And uh, that causes a big problem because it slows you down a lot. I should be able to get him quite soon. Hopefully we can uh, not break that guy again. There we go. I know there's one of these guys that um, we're gonna have to kill. Eat these things as well. I just found the first one. Okay, let's give this another go. I'm gonna see if I can kind of flank around him a bit more instead of trying to block his attacks because uh, it just keeps breaking through my block. Let's get over behind him. I okay, should be able to get him now straight away. There you go, okay. That was a lot easier. It went a lot better than the first time. So right here, I believe if you're in human form, there's actually an NPC right here that you can summon, and she can basically solo this boss fight. But um, I don't have any humanity left right now. So I'm just gonna have to do this on my own. There you can actually see the boss we're gonna be fighting right now. So let's get to this. I wonder if I can get some heats in. Uh, it doesn't do much damage. I basically got mid roll right now, so I will be staying in cover a lot longer if I can just time this right and right here you can actually cheese this a bit I believe if you just stand right here you should be able to dodge the attacks from that side uh, I'll just use an Estus again have to get the timing quite right and then this will be rather easy. There you go. But here's again. Just as soon as the, as the boss lands, I should be able to take him out. Yeah, right here. I might need to wait for it to land one more time, maybe twice. Oh yeah, and then this huge area of effect attack. Should have gone out of the way there. Only got one Estus, so this might be problematic. I might die right here, actually. I think I kind of underestimated this one. I don't know of anything else that can really heal me. So I'm just I'm gonna have to get the timing right. And hopefully it lands in. There we go. Oh. I'm one shot. 
think she just learned now. I might not make this fight. Come on, one more. Nice, okay. That's basically all you have to do, and then you get the Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. You just have to get the timing right and get the dodge right. And uh, I'm not sure which uh, ranged weapons can actually work against this boss because I've, I've only tried the pyromancy and uh, it didn't seem to do a lot of damage so I would recommend just uh, using melee attacks but that's how you defeat the moonlight butterfly well at least if you don't have any humanity to spare because with the humanity I would really recommend uh, summoning the NPC you find at the start because that just makes this fight a whole lot easier And I think up here there's also some loot you can grab, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah. It's a blacksmith corpse. Watchtower basement key, divine ember, and a homeward bone. I wonder if you can actually attack this guy. This might be a really bad idea. No, you can't. That's gonna be it for this video. I might make some more videos uh, fighting some of the other bosses because I'm really having a lot of fun with this game. I can't wait to finish it so I can go on to Dark Souls 2 and 3 as well. And uh, I will definitely play, be playing Elden Ring as soon as I can get my hands on it. Because that just looks like a whole lot of fun as well. But I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all on the next one.